everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's a very, very exciting video because it is another hair video. So the last time I did a hair transformation video was back in 2017, beginning of 2017. Like that. When I dyed my hair back to brown, it's actually my most viewed video here and it is basically when I used to have ombre hair and I dyed it back to brown, but I did it myself. DIY, y'all are loving it. It's got like over 300,000 views now, so it's crazy. Today I'm here to show you my new hair journey, which is one that I'm just so excited. <laughs> basically, I'm dyeing my hair pink pink and I'm going to show you the whole journey. I've had this idea since I think like December, December 22nd I told my best friend do you think people will think I've had a mental breakdown if I change my head this, this dramatically and it's a serious suggestion so please don't tell me to stop ha 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 and I knew that it was going to be a case of bleaching my hair completely, basically killing my hair. It was a change I wanted to do, it was a change I was willing to do so here we are. This is the bit I have been waiting for the longest. This my friends is not my real hair. This is a wig. I have been wearing a wig for the past month, hiding this from you because I have been going through this hair transformation already for a month and this isn't, this isn't my real hair. I have been wearing this to gigs, I have been wearing this on all of my videos as you guys have seen, I have been covering up the hair, keeping her safe in there and you know what, it's actually worked really well because it means I haven't put any heat on my hair, I haven't been styling it, I've just been putting it in two French braids, two French plaits, whatever, I've been hiding it in the wig so it's been really good but now is the moment I have been waiting for. So team, here is the big reveal. Hi team, good morning. This is the first thing I've said all day. How are we all? Today is um, the 11th of uh, February and I am going to get my hair dyed. So today is the beginning of the, the pink journey and I was that thing, whenever I think about doing it or changing it, I end up like looking at pictures of myself and then I'm like, I love my brown hair. Yeah, I always get a bit funny just before I change my hair. I always fall back in love with well, what my hair was like. But it's okay, I'm excited about changing it up. It is like eight in the morning and my appointment's at quarter past nine. So I need to eat, get coffee in me. And that's me, I thought I'd just check in and I'm gonna do some video when I'm there and stuff. They've kindly said that I can film, which is very nice. So yeah, we'll see you there. <laughs> Hi team, I am home, so I just thought I would show you, you can ignore my bed, just thought I'd show you the result really. The girl called Paris did it and like even though she was in training for Tony and Guy, like she'd done colour, she'd been working in a salon for like four years, so she knows what she's doing and it shows like look how good this is. I really did not expect it to come up this light, like honestly it is way 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 blonder than I thought it was going to be on the ends and then the little brown bits that you've got in between, Paris was saying that you don't do all of the hair when you do a balayage um I always feel like I'm saying balayage wrong balayage you leave bits and then the next time then she will lighten those up and then it will make the appearance of the whole 
hair lighter so my roots are still dark i might ask her to bring it up a little bit higher next time just because i don't want to have to go back so often and get it touched up i have also bought back to the days of the purple shampoo i've actually gone for a different one this time this is john frieda's one it's a new one intense purple shampoo just to make sure that it doesn't get brassy and then also i did go for the bleach london this is what i'm probably gonna have to use anyway when it's lighter and i go pink but this is a semi-permanent hair colour. It fades out one to three washes. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to um, have to wig it up when I am on YouTube. Because you guys, you ain't going to be able to know until, yeah, you see this video. So, very excited. I'm booked to go back in on the 10th of March, which is four weeks today. So, yeah. Thank you so much to Paris. Like, you were amazing. Everyone was so impressed with the work. I'm not surprised. Like, I think this is what I wanted my dip dye to look like before when I used to have ombre dip dye. Oh my god, imagine if people are coming from my dyeing my hair back to brown video and now you're coming here and probably watching it going, Hannah, why are you messing with your hair again? You have been on such a hair journey. Well, it's been three years and we're changing it up again, guys. <laughs> so yeah, I'll check back in with you. Okay, bye. Hi, guys. So I've just come back from um, a gig and um just a little hair update for you this is my wig so um yeah this is my disguise for the next month for the next month this is me this is hannah dorman as you know her i'm just gonna have to pretend that i had a haircut i'm not gonna lie i think it's a pretty darn good wig it's a lace front wig so you can probably see like, I've let my baby hairs come through, but you can see the lace there. I'm gonna sort it out a little bit more so it looks a little bit better tomorrow. But yeah, this is me. And I think that you would never know. But I've been waiting for this moment because it is scratchy. I am going full on in disguise. I didn't wear this busking, but... I had my hair tucked into my scarf. Other than that, oh god, I can't get it off. I'm stuck in this wig forever. Other than that, I am going to be wearing this wig everywhere. <laughs> oh, feels good. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> right, anyway, all my blonde hair's up in there. Over and out. Hi team. I didn't get a chance. Oh, I haven't got any lipstick on. I'm gonna change that. That's better. Right, okay. So I've got to be quick because I just missed I just missed the bus. So I'm waiting for the nine o'clock, which is in 12 minutes. Anyway, um today I'm getting my hair cut. Uh, today I'm getting my hair done, and today is the 10th of March, and it is the time for the finishing touches. I'm hope I mean we're gonna do it pink today, and then I guess I might have to come back again in the future to have it done again maybe in another month or two i don't know but anyway the pink is going on today i had it cut yesterday though i went just went to supercuts because i'm poor yeah i went to supercuts because they're super cheap and you can see like it was here and he took two inches off oh, there's a lady there he took two inches off which it needed because i hadn't actually had my hair cut in nearly a year i think it was end of april i had my hair cut yep end of april last year so he did cut more off than probably I wanted, but also do you love my nail colour? I'm obsessed. I love it. It's my photo shoot tomorrow. I haven't spoken to say it, well apart from speaking to a cat. I'm gonna ask her to take it up a little bit higher and we're just gonna go blonder. Very excited. Very excited to see what it looks like. So anyway, yeah, I will um show you when I'm there. Hi team. So, here we are. <sighs> it's not exactly what I wanted. Um, actually on camera it looks quite it looks quite nice but there's just quite a lot of it that hasn't taken so there's quite a lot of the that you see here 
you can see all of this hasn't taken because it's just not light enough yet and they were saying that if i come back in two weeks time then they can do it and they can pick out the bits that hadn't lightened and then they could dye it but i got a photo shoot tomorrow so i thought that it was going to be done today i mean it semi is i basically have seen this i can't ever say it schwarzkopf the live dye and on the back it does say if you can see here light blonde and bleach blonde light blonde it will turn it pink so i'm gonna basically dye my hair with that and we'll see what happens worst case it will just come back looking like this best case these other blonde bits will have the blonde and then I'm picking up extensions tomorrow morning, which are 16 inches. Give it some volume. I'm going to dye those as well. So that's going to have that pink coming through. There probably will be like a bit of dimension, which would be nice. This just isn't the exact colour I was going for. Although actually on camera, it looks way better, I think, than it does in real life. It just looks a bit patchy in real life. So I just want to get especially like this side, you know, if you see this, that's basically like a dark or a strawberry blonde. So I just want to get that pink. So... Here we are, dying our hair. Great, great. Huh. Um, as you can see, my hair is not pink. And I've just realized how short the hairdresser cut my hair. My hair, I swear it was down to here. He did say he's gonna chop off two inches and I guess, I guess that is one inch. It's two inches. I know I've got a tape measure. That's really weird. Two. That, my friends, is two inches. Is that what we took off? Did we take off two or did we take off more closer to four? Anyway, so I did that stuff on my hair. As we can see, it did not turn my hair pink. So now we're stuck with this. It's like a peach. So I don't know if you can see it in... You can see it a little bit here. In this, you can see it's got a bit of a pinky kind of look to it, a little bit. It is kind of like a very, very light, dusty pink. I've had to postpone the shoot. I was going to have a photo shoot tomorrow and then we, we were going to do it on Thursday. I had to postpone it. Oh, I don't know why I do this. Like, it was nice. The pink through the front was a great colour. The pink that I picked up was a great colour. Just the bits that I didn't pick up wasn't great. Again, I got it done by a trainee. The guy who was observing or was the trainer, he said, I probably won't be able to be pink today. He said that it will probably take another go and then I will be pink. And I'm there like panicking. So I'm like, I've got a photo shoot tomorrow. I need to be pink. I literally have everything ready for my photo shoot. Like I'm so organized, like my nails are done, like everything's done. Um, I'm gonna have a balloon backdrop. Imagine if I blew up like over 50 balloons and they were just all wasted. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. So there's a positive thinking here. I do think my roots are lighter as well. I don't know if it's because of that thing I put on. I mean, my hair's pretty light, but it's not light enough to pick up pastel pink, which is just blowing my mind. Oh, you can see it a little bit here. So I wanted this done to be in time with the Animal Crossing launch because I wanted pink hair when I did the Animal Crossing video because my character Bubble throughout the ages has had pink hair. So this time she was gonna have pink hair again and I wanted it to be a nice thing. And now it's not gonna be a thing. Um, I'm gonna get a pro to do it next time just to finish it off. It's fine having the trainees doing it to lighten my hair because it's cheaper. It's like half price having the trainees do it. But I think for finishing it off, for getting the color I want, for getting the blend I want, I'm willing to splash out a little bit more on the last treatment. But anyway, back to the wig for a couple more weeks. I'll probably come on my period tomorrow and then I'll be like, oh, it's fine, it's all fine. But also not fine. Okay, love you, bye. Good morning, good morning. Hair update for you all. I was pretty down in the dumps yesterday after my hair, but I just thought I'd show you this morning. It is like a peachy, it's basically peach. It's peach, okay, it's peach. You can see the pink in it when I do this and move it around. There is pastel pink in there, but it is just still on the bits that the toner took to. I haven't actually done anything to my hair as well, by the way, that's why it's probably like, fluffy and crazy because I'm not putting any heat on it. So I dried it yesterday and that's it. I'm not doing anything else. Um, these are the extensions, that's cardboard, which are platinum, platinum blonde. And then you can see actually how 
pink my hair is in comparison to that. Anyway, I will keep you updated though as things go on. But yeah, all is not lost. I postponed the shoot, it's fine. Everything's just gonna have to happen two weeks later and it's fine, like it's actually fine. It's fine. Guys, hi guys, hi. Something's happened. I'm just starting to feel a bit sentimental about the wig. I was thinking that yesterday, I was like, oh, can't wait to be rid of that wig, you know? Let my real hair out. And now I've put this hairband in and I'm starting doing like different styles with it. And I'm like, it's kind of cute. Quite like it. Maybe it's just cut my hair and just dye it brown. <laughs> no. My hair this length is not this voluminous, voluminous. It could be, but it's not. It's a shame, but I like it. At least I'm enjoying it. Just thought I would show you because I actually think this is quite a cute look. This is quite a vibe. So team, here is the big reveal. My hair's big! Ta-da! This is just the most ridiculous thing in the world. But I've been waiting so long to do that and to be on my channel with my real hair and not my wig. <sighs> my trusty wig is needed no more. Oh, you can just stay there now. This is my hair. This is my real hair, kind of. Right, now I can actually talk to you about the end part of my journey. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be touching my hair so much and I need to make sure that I don't. As you guys saw, I had to go back again for another touch up, another bleaching session. I had it done twice and then the guy who was training them said, come back in two weeks, as I said in the vlog footage. Obviously with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, everything's starting to shut down. I had an appointment for two weeks after. I called up and asked if I could come in on Saturday, which was three days earlier than my appointment because of everything that's going on at the moment. I just wanted to try and get my hair done before everything locks down, basically. So I went in and then he said that he couldn't do it because it had only been two weeks. He didn't actually mean literally come back in two weeks. He did mean more like come back in five or six weeks. I asked, will you be open? Tony and guys shut the next day. So that is why I feel like my journey has been slightly cut short. This isn't probably the end and I wanted it to be a full journey video. And unfortunately, because of everything that's going on in the world at the moment, extraordinary circumstances, I can't complete the pink hair dye video really here. But this is where we're at. These bits here, these bright, bright pink bits are extensions. These aren't my real hair. The real pink is like these bits here, as you can see, they are really nice pink. Anyway, so I basically bought these extensions because I wanted to, as, it, as I said, I said already, I said already. I did a few strand tests on the extensions and using this Bleach London Rose Wash-In Shampoo thing, they went this bright. I can tell you now that this is not the pastel pink I thought it was gonna be. But anyway, it's quite cool. Like it adds a cool dimension and it does brighten it up. And to be fair, it brightened it up a fair bit for the photo shoot for the pictures, which is what I wanted. I will probably wash them a couple of times and I hope that they will go slightly, slightly more subtle because they are quite like fuchsia and like bah at the moment because obviously my hair faded out. I did run this through my hair and it faded again. So I was on the hunt for, oh wow, those bits are nice and pink. You see those? The difficulty is, in some lights it looks really pink and in some lights it just looks blonde. Then I was on the lookout for something that was gonna be a bit more permanent because I don't wanna be spending, like I have a lot of hair and I'm already spending six pounds a time having to do this like once a week or whatever. I cannot afford that. So I found this, which was L'Oreal Paris Color Rista Permanent Gel. I put this all through my hair and this is the colour that is gone. This is permanent, so if it stays, I am really happy. And then when I'm able to go and have the bleach done again, when all of this is blown over, do you know what? If in five weeks time, this is not all blown over, I wanna do it myself because I just feel like I can sit here and I can pick out like they were going to, that bits that are like yellow as opposed to white and bleach them myself and then they will take to this so that my hair will be even pinker. But anyway, my hair needs to recover like 100%. 
I did not realise how dark my hair was. I feel like this did lighten up my roots a little bit. Well, in some lights, my hair was nearly black. Like, it was so dark. And now we've lightened it right up. She needs to recover. She really needs a good couple months to just... I'm putting oil in it every day. I'm just trying to nourish my hair because I know what happens when you bleach it. This is where we are in the journey at the moment. I've had two sets of balayage done. I've put colour in myself. Hopefully this is permanent. I haven't washed it yet. This is hopefully going to hold. It's quite good that we can't leave the house at the moment because I'm trying not to wash my hair as much as I can. But anyway, I'm really happy at the moment. I'm so happy that the secret's finally out. I cannot explain to you, like, I've been having so much fun just hiding it and only a select few people knew what I was doing. It's been a really good laugh. It's been really good fun. Now I watch so many videos. I'm not being funny. I didn't quite believe that it had to be white, white, white your hair. I thought it might take to a few of the lighter blonde bits. Your hair has to be white before pink is going to hold on to it. And any toner, any semi-permanent pink hair thing, it washes out pretty much immediately. So try and find yourself something that's permanent. I really quite like this colour. Like, I think it's really pretty. But it's quite nice to add, like, a different element of pink in there. I thought that they would kind of just peep through and, like, bring the craziness through. We've got different colours going on. Oh my god, I'm McFly's five colours in their hair. <gasps> How many colours have we got? One, two three <laughs> where's the yellow we've got four. Oh my god anyway it's me hello it's me hi i'm really disappointed that it's not my full full pink journey but as i say at this current moment in time we haven't really got much control over the world have we so yeah i hope you like the new look i hope you like the new hair let me know in the comments down below let me know your thoughts if you like it i hope you do because i love it we're doing something a bit different in the future i'm hoping that in a couple months time we're gonna get it a little bit pinker my hair's a bit wild definitely needs a wash but i quite like about bleached hair as much as it's dead it holds its shape and it holds its curl way better than virgin hair thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you're new here because i upload twice a week and you don't want to miss out on one of my uploads please give this video a like if you you liked it and would like to see more hair related videos i'm gonna say in the future okay this is an if if i try and bleach it up myself that's only if we are on lockdown for a long long time would you like to see me do it try and bleach it up myself is that something you want to see or not oh, let me know thank you guys so much for watching please stay safe stay inside stay healthy listen to what the authorities are telling you to do stay safe i love you guys and i will see you in my next video Bye.